Okay, this is a quick little video here to show you the process by which you can kind of take a high res mesh uh, that might not have any lower res um, levels on it and, and, and basically kind of recapture them. Now, obviously under geometry here, I'm gonna pretend that I have no other subdivision levels outside of this top one, so I'm gonna delete lower. And if I were, let's say if I wanted to kind of get some lower res levels, if you're lucky and you, have, and you had kind of a, a basic mesh to start with, you might be able to reconstruct. And as you can see here, in my case, it does work okay. Um, that's just because I think I, I had remeshed this in the past. But if you don't have that option, if I try and re reconstruct this and it says it can't perform the operation because the, you know, the, the, the topology is, is, is not going to work, there has to be another way around that, right? And there really is. And it's not really a very complex process. It just requires a couple of steps. So I'm going to go to my subtool palette here. And here's my little guy. He's at 2.2 million. So what I need to do is, is to get a lower res version of this. Let's say, for example, I wanted to rig it for animation. Um, I need a, a lower res version of this, and I don't want to rebuild this from scratch. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it. So I have a duplicate now, and I'm just going to go to solo just so it's easier to see what I'm talking about here. And I only have 2.2 have million on here. Now, again, I have symmetry turned on, which is very important. because I'm going to remesh this at a lower resolution. Now, of course, if I do that, well, what's the point, right? I'm losing all my detail. Well, I can get that back, and I'll show you how. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to my geometry, and under Z Remesher, I'm just going to make sure it's set to half. So I'm just going to knock it down by half. You could try and just kind of like type in a polygon count number. I just do it by half a few times. I just feel that this works. It's just better. So I'm going to knock it down by half. Go ahead and hit Z Remesher, and I'll wait until it's done. Okay, and now it's done. I'm down, actually, I think I went from 2.2 million to only 200,000, so that's really quite good. You'll see, of course, I lost my paint, and if that's a problem, don't worry, we can get that back, too. So I'm gonna zero mesh it again, because as, as much as it's, as it's great that it's way lower, it's still way too high for animation, so I'm gonna remesh it again. So I can do this as many times as I need to to get to a desired polygon count, right? And now, again, I'm not really, I'm not even messing around with things like um, poly groups to kind of give myself a good edge flow. I'm just going to kind of let this go uh, and we'll see what I'm talking about. So I have 100,000 in here. That's great. I'm just going to kind of keep knocking this down until I have maybe like 20,000. Something that's going to feel a lot more, you know, a lot more animation friendly. Even 20,000 is a whole lot, but you know what I'm saying. So let's just do it one more time here. So now I have a very low res mesh, right? I have a 20,000 face mesh. You can see here it's very low. Um, I mean, it's still pretty, again, it's still pretty beefy for animation, but for our purposes, at least, we can maybe do something with this. I can even knock it down one more time, maybe why not? Let's just try it once more. Um, so now I have 9,000. This is perfect. Now, again, it's, it looks like nothing, but that's okay. So what I can do now is I can get back this, this detail from the original by projecting the original detail onto this, and it will also project the paint. Now, I may as well get this ready for... Um, for UVs in case I want to kind of bring it into an animation software. So while I'm at my lowest res here, I might as well just come up here to um, Z plugin. I'm not going to get crazy with, you know, making it all pretty. I just want to unwrap the UV. So now I have, now I have UVs. And if I want to now, I can kind of take the texture I applied to this later on and bring it outside of ZBrush. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of solo mode. But what I want to do is I want to actually only have the head that I'm working on, this new one, and the original. So I'm just going to get rid. I'm going to hide everything else. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and tap the eyeball icon. That'll turn off the visibility of everything but the thing I'm working on. And I'll just turn on the eyeball icons for both of these. So I just have just the two heads now, the low res head and the original. Now the original, of course, is really really high res, which is good. And this is very very low res. So, so I'm just going to do. I'm going to subdivide this new head a couple of times, like once and just twice. So I'm not going to go too crazy with this. I want to kind of have it be somewhat uh, close to the original in terms of like, you know, I don't want to be like too high. I just want to have it be a lot higher than it was. And now in my subtool palette, I'm going to come down here to project. Choose project all. And it's going to ask you if you want to project the color as well. I'll say yes. Now it's going to project. It's going to kind of look at this original and try and make this this other one here look as much like that as possible. And you can see it's kind of getting me closer here. If I solo this, you can see I'm much closer, right, than I was. But I'm still only at 159,000 points and it's still looking all kinds of blocky. So I can just subdivide this again. Hit con uh, Control D, subdivide, hit Project All again. And I'm going to do this at every level until I get close to the original level polygon count. So if I do it one more time, subdivide, Project All. And now this is at 2.5 million. It looks pretty much exactly like the 2.2 million one. Um, at least it will when it's done projecting. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer now because it's got two and a half million points uh, to mess with. But it is now going to take all that stuff that was on the original, project it onto this newer low-res version. And this newer low-res version still has that 9,000 point 
version, right? That I can go down and and access whenever I want. So if I turn this little eyeball icon off for the for the original for the original, you can see here I have all the detail I want. I can go to my geometry, go back down to level one. <laughs> it looks really awful here, but I still have all the stuff I need. And I can, you know, come down here to texture map and I can make a texture now based on this because I actually have it um, you know, uh UV'd. So it's a really quick way, but you can get all the all the, the kind of the benefits of Ziri Mesher without losing any of the detail of the original.